This is Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller, mortgage expert with New American Funding. For the next hour, you'll learn impactful insider information as Christian and Dan teach about the ins and outs of Seattle's real estate market. Now, here's Christian and Dan. Hey, good afternoon. Whether you are in the car, your cubicle at work, or at home listening to us, Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, good to be back in touch with our listeners. Yeah, we got Dan Keller. Yeah, some mortgage I'm Dan banker. Keller. And Christian Awesome Nawesome, <laughs> the real estate broker. Yeah, exactly. I love exactly. it, man. I know. No, here, we need to talk about this real quickly uh, because this is really neat. So I go over to a client's house mm-hmm. last week mm-hmm. and she, you know, we're talking about, you know, whatever, small talk. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I bring up, I bring up, um, well, she, actually, she asked, uh, they're thinking about buying a, an investment home, which we're actually going to talk about today. Nice. But, um, it, and you know. you said, I got this great real estate agent well, you need to work I with. His name is Christian. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, yeah, exactly. But I always <laughs> ask, hey, do you have a real estate professional? Or I, they, they own about four of their homes. So, okay. Um, you know, so I was asking them, so who do you use for your real estate? You mm-hmm. know, who, who's your real estate agent? And they're like, ah, you know, we've used so-and-so in the past. But mm-hmm. um, long story short, I started talking about you. And she was like, oh, is that the guy that's on radio with you? I was like, yeah. Is that exactly how she sounded? Pretty kind of. I hope so, because that, that was, that was well, probably I don't, spot on. Well, I don't know where, but. <laughs> but, um, they're, you know, they're good friends. Yeah. And, um, you know, so I said, yeah, yeah. I know Christian's a, Christian's a pro. He's a real estate investor himself, and he'll take really, really good care of you. But the really cool thing is people are listening. We're generating followers. This isn't obviously isn't the first time someone's brought up our show, but we're getting a lot of good feedback on mm-hmm. social networks. We're getting a lot of a really good feedback. We're getting emails. I'm getting voicemails from yeah. people, um, past clients who mm-hmm. text me. Yeah. Um, it's fun. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Well, they're saying, hey, you know, honestly, some of the good feedback yeah. I've gotten, I haven't yeah. gotten any bad, so I don't know why I've stipulated good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like uh, one of our clients who's a doctor, mm-hmm. he said, you know, what I really appreciated was you're not, like, selling. Yes. And I was like, yeah, yeah. you know, that's not the goal of the show. Yeah. The goal is not to yeah. sell, sell, sell. It's to educate. Yeah, well, that's background. always our philosophy. Yeah, I mean, our background is blogging. You know, yeah. we both kind of started our businesses and built our businesses mm-hmm. online, creating, mm-hmm. you know, with a blog. And, and videos. You, and, and videos. And if you really understand the nature of a blog, it's to provide content. You exactly. are giving content. That's it. And whether whether or not, I mean, I'm, there's a ton of lenders that use my content mm-hmm. and use it to give to their clients. Which and, is pretty funny. Which is funny. Yeah. But, um, no, I mean, it's really cool. We're getting great feedback. Uh, we would love, if you're listening... We would love your feedback on topics. Yeah. We've had some, you know, from a home organizer to home inspectors to contractors. Um, I think we're bringing in top level guests, but we all, that's, that's our opinion. We'd love to hear from you. You know, yeah. If anybody has any ideas of of show topics or anything that you really want to hear about Mm -hmm. and learn about, let us know. We'll find them. We'll hunt them down. Yeah. We'll hunt them down. Hit us up on uh, on either social media, Facebook, mm-hmm. LinkedIn, yeah. uh, Instagram, yeah. or you can email us uh, at info at seattlerealestateradio.com. Mm-hmm. Check out the website, seattlerealestateradio.com. You can mm-hmm. find all of our past episodes. You know what we do? You can actually watch videos and see us. We're live right now on video. Um, every broadcast is recorded. Yep. So you can actually kind of see what we look like. Exactly. <laughs> and how goofy we look how goofy in, we uh, in between... When we're talking, we sound like we're super professional, yeah. but sometimes we are. Well, and how much weight you've lost since we started, man? 17 million pounds. 17. It's amazing. You're killing it. You're doing I won the biggest yeah. loser. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, it was tough, but 17 million pounds, it was, it was fun. You're looking good. You're Thanks, doing man. the Miracle Morning. You're yeah. looking good. You're eating. Yeah. I mean, I just watched you eat lunch out of a bag. I think it was nuts and salad, but look good, man. I feel like I'm foraging all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm never hungry. That's the weird thing, because I'm eating yeah. a ton of protein yeah. and just good stuff, you yeah. know? And it's, I actually, I, in, I like the flavors of what I'm eating a mm-hmm. whole lot better than yeah. the crap I was eating before. Yeah, well, any nutritionist will tell you, once you retrain your taste buds, mm-hmm. the other things don't. Like, if, if I were, for example, to have a can of soda right now, oh, it yeah. just wouldn't taste uh, good, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, um, can of beer, on the other hand? Mm. Mm. Wine. Mm-hmm. I know, exactly. <laughs> That's what I love about this diet. It's yeah. the four-hour body, yeah. l- slow-carb yeah. diet. Yeah. Can you Not have one? No. Yeah. They, he has a glass or two of wine every single night in the book That when he's talking about it. I love Tim like, Ferriss. I know, exactly. He's like, you can have as much red wine as you want. I've done okay. studies on it. That's the only thing I've found that, that does not affect yeah. the weight loss. Does he have a book on that? 
Yeah, the four hour four hour body. Four hour body. That's what it's called. Tim Ferriss. Yeah. Four hour body. He's got the four hour work week, which we've read. Yep. And four hour chef, which I have no nothing no, about. I don't know about that one. I follow him on Twitter mm-hmm. and I follow he's got a podcast, which is pretty cool too. Yeah. So Tim yeah. Ferriss is a freak. He is. Yeah. And it stuck. took him three years of personally testing yeah. out all of these different things. Yeah. To write the four hour body. Like mm-hmm. he did some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, like sticking Oh yeah, it was gross. Yeah, but he stuck like a needle in his thigh. Yeah, and they used it at, like it went way down there. Somehow the needle like grabbed on a muscle, uh-huh. pulled the muscle and cut it out so that they could test how much muscle mass he had and mm. then how much he had gained. Like he did it again so another they time took a later. Sample an of actual, actual muscle mus- muscle fiber sample. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, anyway, crazy. Yeah. Well, good stuff, man. So we're gonna so, tell me about these yeah. investment people. What were they? What were they saying? You know, they're well. Let's get they're back wanting to talking about real estate. Hey, and, you know, that is the show. That's the show. Um, <laughs> listen, they they own a few homes, mm-hmm. and um, a couple of them are duplexes. And mm-hmm. smart, very smart clients. Both of them are very savvy, and um, they want to buy more real estate. Okay. And we're seeing that a lot. We're seeing yeah. a lot. I do a lot of. I wouldn't. You know, a lot. I'd probably say twenty percent, twenty five percent of all of our loan volume. Mm-hmm. Is investor loans. So meaning Got it. they're buying a, a non-owner occupied home. Mm-hmm. So um, great time to purchase real estate. Yep. 20% down. You d- actually don't need 20% down to purchase That's an investment That's interesting because I was just going to ask you because yeah. we're looking at adding additional yeah. properties to yeah. our portfolio yeah. ourselves. Yeah. And I was just going to ask, what's the latest with, with the financing side yeah. of things? What do you what do I need to do as yeah. an investor? You know, this is, a, th- this is why I love working with real estate investors, Christian, because we can sit down and once we have a purchase price... So so for example, I know you're a duplex, fourplex mm-hmm. guy. We can sit down and we've got a price point and we can look at the 20% down and what that payment is and then what your net mm-hmm. rents would be. Okay. Exactly. And we can strategically maneuver and, and work with that and, and go over some options. So uh, most of our clients put 20% down. Mm-hmm. I've got a couple of clients that really want to get into the game, younger clients that want to get into uh, investing in real estate. Yeah. Yep. And so they may not have the 20%. Mm-hmm. You cannot get gift funds on, on non Yeah, property. you cannot yep. borrow money from family. So um, there are lesser than 20% down loans. You do have to pay some private mortgage insurance. Yep. But... Christian, if it pencils out, yeah, it doesn't matter. Which the rental market's on fire right now. If yeah. it pencils out, you're making money and the home's appreciating. It may be, it may, may be make worth, sense. Yeah, it may make yep. sense. Exactly. So well, that's good to know. Yeah, that's really yeah. good to know. I mean, that's yeah. I mean, we just bought a house this last summer, just a couple, uh, just a couple months ago, really, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. And so, I mean, we we're slightly tapped out with funds to buy another yeah. house. So we gotta, we gotta save up, and but yeah, be interested to see what we gotta do yeah. to, to make it happen. Well. It, the markets, the markets there right now. It uh, well, like you said last week, a couple weeks ago too. It's it's we got an inventory issue. Yeah, and um, it's a good time to buy. Rates yeah. are, rates are down. Rates are staying down. We've seen mm-hmm. them down. They're not. You know, we proved kind of the um, the sky's not falling. Rates aren't going up to the five. So they're down. It's a good time to consider it. So mm-hmm. um, one of the things that I encourage all my clients to do, if you're working with a real estate agent, make sure they have some experience. If you're looking at investment homes, yeah. it helps to have a real estate agent that understands investment properties. But speaking of that, mm-hmm. I want to hear from you. What's going on in the housing, the Seattle housing market? So, I mean, it's still tough out yeah. there, man. There's, yeah. there's buyers that are... I mean, cash is king. Mm -hmm. It's always been that way. Mm -hmm. But cash is king. If Mm -hmm. you got cash and you can make an offer on a house and close in 10 days, Mm -hmm. which is about the quickest you can close with cash... You're you're in the driver's seat on on pretty much any multiple offer situation. And I've seen and heard that sellers are at times... I mean, they're turning down an extra 20 grand or Mm -hmm. more or less... Uh, to take a non or to take a cash deal mm-hmm. instead of doing someone that's paying. So, for example, let's say they're they're paying. I'm picking a number out of my head. Seven fifty. Mm-hmm. Say that the price is around seven fifty. A seller will take sometimes mm-hmm. for an all cash deal. Mm-hmm. Maybe they'll accept seven twenty five. Okay. Whereas they could have gotten had they waited two three more weeks. Mm-hmm. With going with someone that's mm-hmm. going with a big bank because they're usually forty five days out, so mm-hmm. really it's going to be more like a month mm-hmm. extra. Mm-hmm. They could have made another twenty five grand, yeah. but instead of going with the person that's getting financing yeah. from a big bank, they're going with the cash offer because yeah. they know it's a done deal. And I, and I think some of the trid guidelines, the new ones that have come out yeah. in early October, yeah. I think that's uh, that's definitely slowed down the big banks. Yeah. And thankfully, 
I get to work with you. Yeah. You're a local bank. Yeah. You can do things way faster, and that's why we've been staying competitive. I mean, you're. Yeah. What are you closing time frame? I well, mean, we just closed a deal for you, a transaction for you, and and it was a it was a five hundred thousand dollar plus transaction, but mm-hmm. in eighteen nineteen days. Yeah. So we can still do it quick, but you know, um, that was one of the things I wanted to ask you specifically mm-hmm. is, um, are you seeing that with all cash versus financing, and how much that gap is it a twenty five thousand dollar gap on let's say three quarters of a million that's a lot of money for a seller to pass up mm-hmm. just to eliminate the drama that's around of some of the of potential, financing. potential potential drama, drama. Yeah. yeah yeah so you know yeah and I've seen it yeah. and I've heard about it I mean even yeah. up to million dollar yeah. places I've seen sellers yeah. turn down an extra twenty grand yeah um, wow. just to take a cash deal mm-hmm. versus. Versus a finance deal, yeah. So but it's, it's, it's yeah. when people are going with the big banks. Yeah, that's the issue. It's yeah. taking too it's how long. How you pitch it, how you sell exactly. it to the, as one broker. And so has. what I do when my clients are using you, mm-hmm. they can close in eighteen days, yeah. nineteen days, fifteen days, depending yeah. on what's what's going on and yeah. how prepped they are and yeah. what loan they're getting. Yeah. Um, and when we're doing that, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a much easier choice yeah. for the seller to go. Okay, I'll take another ten, fifteen, mm-hmm. twenty-five grand, whatever the number mm-hmm. is. And wait an extra week. Well, it's an easy conversation for me to have. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, mm-hmm. Miss Real Estate Broker that's listing their home, mm-hmm. let me help you make an extra $25,000 for your sellers. Exactly. I'm managing their finan- the buyer's yeah. financing. It's already been pre-underwritten. Mm-hmm. Give us two more weeks or another 10 days from the all-cash guy. And these guys want the house more than them. Yeah, exactly. They're first-time buyers, you know, yeah. so I can sell the story. But and that's that's kind yeah. of what I do too. Is yeah. in addition to that, then I throw the emotional side of yeah. it. Hey, this buyer, yeah. they're actually going to live there. Yeah. It's not going to be a rental. Yeah. It's not going to be some investor that's paying all cash. Mm-hmm. This is a home buyer that's going to raise a family or yeah. do whatever. I, I throw the yeah. yeah, I throw the emotional stuff in there, which yeah. definitely resonates with with yeah. sellers. Yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah, uh, early November we talked about it with Trid. The big banks are going to delay things out. Mm-hmm. It's going to it's going to put a lot of emphasis on the local mortgage bankers uh, to perform and we're doing it. We're two yeah. months into it. We're doing it. Exactly. So on today's show, we're going to be speaking with Scott Estes, who is a hard money lender, mm-hmm. and we're pretty excited to pick his brain. We're also going to hear about Dan and the mortgage market. Uh, so stay tuned to Seattle Real Estate Radio here on KKOL 1300. You're listening to Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller. We'll be right back. We're back with Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Seattle Real Estate Radio here on KKOL 1300 AM. Dan, who is this Who is this fine gentleman yeah. sitting next to you? I'm excited, man. This is Scott Estes with the Estes team. I actually know Scott. We used to work for the same mortgage company. Wow. And um, great guy. He actually, we're going to be talking about hard money, so it kind of has a little to do with financing, my yeah. my gig, but this is something that I do not do. I do not specialize in it, and I don't know much about. That's why he's on the show. And that's, uh, I, I kind of do the same thing. If I don't mm-hmm. know something, if mm-hmm. I don't specialize in it, I find someone that yeah. is an expert, and I yeah. pass those people on to them. That's yeah. kind of what I hear you're saying about yeah. him with Scott's, hard money. Yeah, great reputation in the real estate and lending community, and mm-hmm. he's here today. I'm really excited. So I want to give you a real quick bio on Scott. Okay. Um, if you go to Seattle Real Estate Radio, you can read all about him. There's a link to his site, everything. Mm-hmm. But And watch um, the, uh, and watch, the video of us. Watch right everything, now. the podcast, the video, but uh, you can learn a little bit more about him. And get his contact info. If exactly. You're but um, Scott Estes is a hard money lender. Okay. okay. And we're going to go into what exactly hard money is. Mm-hmm. But for the last 15 years, Scott and his team have been specializing in purchase money and private money loans. Scott and his team have built a reputation over the years of, I love this, saving the day when other lenders couldn't figure it out. Nice. I kind of do that for you often. You do, actually. <laughs> Clean up other lenders' yeah. messes for I tell me people, sometimes. you know, hey, what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a janitor. <laughs> and I'm a mortgage lender. I clean up other people's messes and uh, no. So, and it sounds like that's what he does with when we. With hard money. Yeah. When, when lenders us, yeah. can't help you out, then when, he comes yep. in with the private 
yeah. private money in. And fixes yeah. and saves the day. Exactly. And I'll give you a couple of examples in a minute. But, uh, you know, Scott's won numerous awards in the mortgage lending community. Uh, but he's a private money expert serving King, Snohomish, and Pierce County. Scott loves helping real estate investors get in front of opportunistic opportunities. Opportunistic opportunities. That's a little hard to say. It's a tough one. But, um, but here's the thing. He offers, much like us, unparalleled service from start to finish. And in a, in a hard money lending or in a financing, That's not it's normal. tough. No, it's that is not, not normal. normal at all. No. So if you're a real estate investor, the, the purpose of today's show is centered around whether or not you are a real estate investor, maybe a maybe a first-time home buyer that wants to invest in real estate. Much mm-hmm. You start investing young. Mm-hmm. Um you know, or just want an all-in-one fix-it-and-flip-it loan, Scott's going to be your guy. You are going to want, you can't afford to not have a conversation, at least with this guy. So welcome, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What a great intro. Well, it was a long (laughs) one. Hopefully uh, it wasn't too much, but uh, no, I mean, we're really excited to have you on and um, this is going to be value-packed. This, I love having people on much like financial planners that can actually make our clients money. I know. How Those are money, mine. I mean, yeah. dude, how much money have you made in real estate? Because I couldn't even tell you. As an investor. Yeah, exactly. So I couldn't th- even tell you. This guy today is going to help our listeners uh, make money. So We like that. We do. We do. So Most people do. What? What is hard money? <laughs> yeah, what, I mean, that's, we that's a good right place to it. start. I mean, yeah. What the heck is hard money? Let's let's dispel any rumors or, mm-hmm. or anything that people might yeah. think it is and just give them a straightforward answer. What is it? I'm smiling because I have two amazing professionals, both in real estate and lending, asking that very question. Yeah. What is private money? And if you guys are still, uh, you know, not quite sure, I can only imagine how the listeners mm-hmm. feel. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, because most lenders have no idea how this works. Yeah. Most agents don't. I travel all over, and uh, I've found that as I, I, I train, agents and lenders both, nobody's hands go up when you mm-hmm. ask who's, you know, done a hard money or a private money loan. Mm-hmm. Um, they've heard of it. They, they, they kind of know about it, but they don't know much about it. Or, exactly. or, or with the mortgage meltdown, it's dirty money. Yeah. Or and I think that's what... It's subprime. Yeah, it's that's, bad. That's what I was referring to because yeah. people... Yeah. Yeah. Which it's not. Right. No. In hard money, you get the guido. You know, you're going to come exactly. break my legs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No, we're in a great position, actually. So uh, <laughs> we don't have to do that at all. No, no. We get to take your house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you know, private money is simply, uh, you know, typically uh, issued by an investor or a company uh, that does investment, you know, for mm-hmm. investment purposes only. Okay. Yeah. So private money is, is you know, like, like a, a tool in a toolbox, just like, like normal lending, right? Mm-hmm. If, if I'm going to go to Dan, Dan opens up his toolbox and he's got, you know, conventional mm-hmm. FHA, VA, Fannie, mm-hmm. Freddie, HomePath. I mean, all these different yeah. options, yeah. right? Yep. And as you're, you're talking to a client, you're trying to figure out where they fit, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so which tool is going to work best? Yeah, which tool is going to work best. But this private money thing just normally gets left somewhere on the side and they just don't worry about it because they heard that the rates were high mm-hmm. or um, they just, uh, uh, you know, the lender doesn't do that. That, so they're just like, ah, we don't talk about that. Exactly. Right? Because yeah. if you had an auction or, 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 or all cash, that's not something a bank does. Yep. So mm-hmm. um, when they don't know about it, they confuse it and then just push it aside. Exactly. So um, I'm here to just tell the dirty truth. It's mm-hmm. not hard or crazy. It's, it's actually yeah. it, uh, easier than yeah. ever. You know, most agents find that, uh, you know, when I close in seven days and call them and like, hey, we're done. Yeah. They're shocked. They can't yeah. even believe. Like, well, yeah. well what's next? Like, yeah. like no, well, we're well, what do we have to do yeah. now? Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> you know, one of the things I love about Scott is much like how I run my business, transparency is key. And so mm-hmm. th- the first question that I get asked when I meet a new client is, what is your rate and what are your fees? It's the only thing we have in common until there's a relationship, right? And being fully transparent, I'm, I'm going to tell our listeners, hard money is expensive. I'm not, we're not going to lie to you. It's, it's not, you're not going to get a, correct me if I'm wrong, Scott, you're not going to get a, 40 per, a 4% 30 year fixed or a 4% fixed loan on hard money. Absolutely. So it is a little bit more expensive, but it's strategic. Yeah, you got to use it the right way. You got to use it the right way, and Scott's going to show us how to do that today. Okay. Okay. So, um, who usually gets hard money? Real estate investors. Okay. You know, people that are. It's got to be for investment purposes. So it cannot be for you to. Uh, you know, you, you've had a, a, an issue with credit and mm-hmm. and, and a foreclosure or something, and now you're trying to get back in and own a house. You know, mm-hmm. that's not going to be the solution whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Got it. It's got to be for an investment purpose. So I can't. First of all, I cannot touch your owner occupied house. If you have a million dollar house, you own it free and clear. I cannot take any money, not even a penny, out of that mm-hmm. and go help you acquire another property. Hmm. You would have to talk to my friend Dan. Mm-hmm. Uh, he could do a cash out mm-hmm. refi. You could do a home equity line of credit. Mm-hmm. There's options that you can do. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as I go, I can't touch your owner-occupied. It has to be for investment purposes only. Well, there goes one of the questions I wrote down earlier. Um, 
Sorry to blow that. <laughs> no, it's got to come huge. up with another one real yeah. quick. Jeez. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think of uh, private money like uh, a valet parking. Right. Mm -hmm. There's times where. That's not time's not important. You know, I, I've got time. I can circle around. I actually did it three times around this this. So did Dan. Today, he right? drove three times around trying yeah, to find yeah. a parking spot. Totally. But however, if, if if I was really pressed for time and I left no room for margin and I was just trying to be quick, right? I mm -hmm. might have uh, if there was a valet option, I might have spent that extra couple dollars exactly. because my time is now money. Mm -hmm. And in a thirty year world, you're you're marrying something, right? Mm -hmm. You're dating me. Mm -hmm. We're we're, we're uh, you know thirty you're, days, ninety days, you're 60 a tender days, fling, a year or or maybe two years. <laughs> Right? Yeah. So, so when you think of expensive, you hear twelve percent versus four. That's that's a, that's crazy. Why on mm -hmm. earth would I ever want a twelve percent versus thirty? Yeah. You know, or four percent. Mm -hmm. um, and and when you look at something, if 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 it's strategic yeah. for the right purpose, right? Yeah. You're using this tool yeah. to be in and out very quickly. I'm all cash. I'm quick. I'm mm -hmm. easy. I fun in a few days, right? Yeah. So you're really paying for um, the speed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're only going to hold it a couple of months, well, twelve percent. It's not for that two big months, it's not a big deal at all, no, right? No. You actually build that into the cost of the acquisition. Exactly. And, usually and that's how you got to do it. You got to always factor it into the cost of acquisition. It's not like, yeah. yeah. Well, so Scott, hard money has saved my bacon a couple of times. Like, well, like you say, you, you, you jump in and, and you get things done when, when lenders can't. But I've strategically used hard money comparing an FHA rehab loan. A full. I mean, we're talking the the excruciating sixty to ninety day process of getting all the documentation in, the rate, the fact that FHA now penalizes you and makes you have private mortgage insurance for thirty years. So this particular this particular first time home buyer was uh, was going out. Actually, he wasn't a first time home buyer. This particular first time buyer was going out and purchasing a home, and it made more sense. We compared apples to apples. It made more sense to pay the twelve the the, the fees, which we'll get into in a minute, and the rate at twelve percent versus a three seven five thirty year fix with the normal <laughs> points associated with an FHA loan, and use hard money to get in. Get in there quickly, do his work, refinance to a conventional loan, no PMI. Hmm. I mean, it was, it, we put it on paper. I gave up a transaction as a result, but I've got a client that's made a very good financial decision now, and he's made money in doing so. So strategically, hard money or private money, I like to say private money, hard kind of sounds maybe dirty, but private money is a great option. Mm -hmm. So... I love it, man. I love that you make that point um, about it being strategic. But let's talk about terms, okay? Tell me, for example, the typical terms of a hard money or private money loan. Terms are like your thumbprint in mm -hmm. your lending world, right? Mm -hmm. um, I've got the cool thing is that I don't work for just one company. I'm a I'm kind of like a broker. I'm, oh, wow. I'm a hybrid. Oh, um, I've been lending cool. forever. I've been a broker. I've worked at the banker. Um, I, I realize the value of both, but in private money, there's no uh, a niche like this mm -hmm. that I've kind of filled. Where I'm friends with everybody in the industry that owns either a, a private money company or I have private investors, and they all have a different appetite. Hmm. So um, some of them want a two year term, whereas mm -hmm. some you know these bigger companies want your 30 day, your 45 days, 90 days or less. Yeah. And so uh, terms vary. So if you're going to yeah. be, uh, let's just talk at an auction, right? Yep. At mm -hmm. an auction, if you want to turn it really, really fast, I've got, uh, you know, as uh, you know, 12% and uh, a normal loan would look like a nine month term. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you refinance out of it within 45 days or less, we credit you back two of the four points we collected. Hmm. Okay. So we're giving you uh, basically two of your points back for, for getting out within 45 days or less. If you need it for 70. 75 days or less, then we give you one point back, and then anything from that 76 to nine months mm -hmm. is already accounted for at the four points. Oh. I have another option if you're absolutely not going to get out of it within, um, you know, the 45 or 75 day option. I've got a lender that will uh, actually do. Um, I wrote this down. Yeah, 10 percent down at an auction. Wow. Right? Nine and a half rate for nine months, and wow. that's four points. Wow. Right? Wow. So I've got different investors depending on what you're trying to do. And that's mm -hmm. where I don't have a cookie cutter approach. And it's wow. really turned me off in the past to, yeah. to be with these companies and to see them kind of cattle prod with no service. Right? Mm -hmm. For me, I, I'm not trying to sell a coaching mm -hmm. program or anything. And I've seen so many people yeah. pay tens of thousands of dollars to find that, that yeah. they, they spent the money that they needed to go buy a house. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and our education is free. You know, we don't yeah. get paid unless we do a loan for exactly. people. Exactly. Well, and do a great job for them, too. And yeah. here's the thing, Scott. You just hit it on the head. 10% down for... A hard money, hard money loan. Is there a limit on how much you can get? No. Wow. 
See, that's crazy. So I, my, me, that's, I just learned something today. The, yep. the, a general myth that I've always come to know or known is you need a 20%. You needed to give the investor 20% right. in order to, to get it. I a, have some funds that are like that. Okay. But I mean, 9% with 10, four points, 9%. With ten percent down, nine percent rate at ten percent down, those are phenomenal terms. It's great. Yeah, that was that was my next question was what is the cost of the money? So the the origination fees are approximately four percent or correct. And okay. they'll vary if you're going to do a, a, a you know nine month to one year or a two year. If you want an extra year added, okay. then it's just usually like one or a one and a half percent addition. Wow, that's phenomenal info. We got we got to tell more questions. I got we got to ask this guy. We got to jam to a break. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm glad that you're here, man. Yeah. I mean, you're Thank you're you. you're definitely educating a lot of people, I think, including us yeah. on on some of the things that are going on out there. Yeah. In a, in addition to getting a loan the normal way, this is yeah. a, this is some good info. Yeah. So, stay tuned. We will be back with more of Scott here on Seattle Real Estate Radio on KKL 1300. Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller, continues after this. Time for more Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller. Hello and welcome back to Seattle Real Estate Radio here on KKOL 1300 AM. We are back again with Scott Estes talking about hard money and, uh, I'm learning a ton. Powerful, and yeah. It's I'm very grateful that you were able to come on today and help educate some people on definitely definitely different mm-hmm. scenarios that you can use hard money for. Um, so I mean, yeah. Dan, I know you had a couple more questions. Oh, yeah. you no, to a couple of follow up questions, but I know I know a lot of real estate professionals and, and mortgage professionals. No, that, you don't. Well, they follow. I know that, well, a lot of them. <laughs> Yes, I know a do. handful or you more know a lot that follow our show, yeah. and, I, and I'm not you know I syndicate I send out our recordings yeah, exactly. to you know to my colleagues and a lot of real estate professionals. Mm-hmm. And uh, what a valuable resource Scott will be, you know whether I know a lot of our listeners are homeowners mm-hmm. and I mean, potential first time buyers, but uh, this is just phenomenal info. So I think something that I would love our listeners to understand is let me talk about my you know really traditional mortgage lending right now. The application process can take, you know, no, normally our service levels in our office are 24 hours. Get your, get, fill out the online application, submit your financial docs. We'll review that within 24 hours and get back to you. Mm-hmm. Um, talk to us from a private money standpoint. Is it, is it similar, the same process? You know, credit poll. Uh, we're going to look at your financial docs. We want to make sure uh, that we're, we're going to you know, look at your title and make sure that you're, you're not crazy. Absolutely. Um, yeah. oh, we're going to touch all of those, but our emphasis is a little different. Okay. And our, our emphasis is, you know, your credit. I don't have a minimum credit score. Okay. So you can have really bad credit. Okay. You know, I've got some builders that were crushed not too mm-hmm. long ago, yeah. and, and they're still paying the price for that. And mm-hmm. so if they've got, you know, a good enough down payment okay. and, uh, you know, can, can swing a hammer and finish a project, then yeah. that's what I'm looking okay. at more so than their their yeah. credit history. <laughs> uh, I need to make sure they can pay for the loan and that, yeah. uh, you know, whatever yeah. whatever the project is, that, that they can execute that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, no down, uh, n- no minimum credit score. Um, wow. The application process is really simple. I know what a 1003 is. I've filled them out for years, and it's actually much less than that. Okay. Another yeah. acronym, Christian. Yes, it's kind of an acronym. In the lending world, a 1003 is a loan app. Got it. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. We we joke all the time about acronyms. Yeah. They burn. They they're so prevalent all over our industries. No, no one ever knows what the hell they mean. None of them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you've got uh, no credit uh, issue. Um, okay. I'm looking at um, the overall picture of the of the property. You know, mm-hmm. what are you buying? Uh, how much can you put down? What's how the fast your exit strategy? Yeah, yeah, the exit strategy really. You know, yeah. what are you trying to do? Because if you're going to hold on to it, now I've got to make sure you can qualify, yeah. and that's mm-hmm. a totally different ball yeah. game. So for somebody that has bad credit, um, you know, I need to make sure that they're just going to fix and mm-hmm. flip, or, or or have a really good exit strategy, or they need to be getting pre-approved with Dan over here. Okay, okay. exactly. So then, uh, as far as let's talk about so- let's talk about somebody that, that that may have poor credit, or may have had a bankruptcy or a short sale in the last you know three four years, and they don't have stellar credit. Are you going to want to see assets? What are you going to want to see to cover your risk? I mean, obviously, you're going on you're going on the title with them. So if anything were to happen. Obviously, you can take the property, property, but from a qualification standpoint, if there is no credit minimum, 
what are some of the, in our road, we call them compensating factors. What are some of those? Absolutely. Um, obviously, I'm going to look at their job, their employment, their their credit. And most of my customers have really good credit. Mm-hmm. Again, this is mm-hmm. not for mm-hmm. people that are desperate and down and out. These are savvy investors that usually make a lot more than my first-time home buyers mm-hmm. yeah. ever did. Okay. So, yeah. um, you know, most of them have really good credit. It's really just how I'm going to pledge that. Some companies, uh, you know, require a certain uh, credit. Others don't really care. But the compensating factors is how much are they putting down, um, you know, the, pr- the w- how much are they buying this for? Are they getting mm-hmm. an auction, getting a really sweet deal? Or are they mm-hmm. paying full market value and actually overbidding for a property, right? So yeah. um, I, I really have to look at the collateral because I'm in first position, just like the bank would be. Yep. And, uh, you know, we're secured by the... First so year. is there is there like a, an equity stake or an equity, not stake, but is there, say, Absolutely. a percentage of value that you won't go over or does that depend on the... So again, it depends, right? Yeah. It depends exactly. on what you're doing. If you're at an auction, again, there's 10%, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Versus if you're going to come to me and, 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 and maybe your scenario fits a, a 20% down, that's usually the general, you know? Okay. You could figure about 20% down uh, on a fix and flip or, mm-hmm. or, or on any of the products. Yeah. Got it. And on a refi, think about 65%. Got it. Like, that's where I was trying to go, but I couldn't figure out how to phrase that one. (laughs) Purchase money is different than a refi. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what are some other scenarios that people are using hard money for? I mean, like a fix and flip. So you're buying something, immediately fixing it up. You're going to flip it. You're going to resell it. What are they doing with that? And what kind of, what kind of deals can people get? And why does it make sense to use hard money? It's perfect. Um, if I'm going to go get an investment property with Dan, he's mm-hmm. got a different set of criteria. Mm-hmm. And when you actually look at it side by side, uh, you'll find that, that, that you know, my money is typically going to get you in faster. So the, mm-hmm. the cost of time, right? Um, I can get you in a property in, in a few days, usually, like you said, seven or, de- or less. Yeah, Whereas which is crazy fast. Super fast, right? Yeah. So, so speed is, is, again, a compensating factor. And that's a huge deal right now where there's competitive offers. Multiple people making offers on a house. Exactly. Although I think a lot of times people are buying foreclosures maybe in yep. your situation. So there's not necessarily multiple offers where that's going to make that big a difference. But... Right. I have a, a, another example would be a guy in Bellevue. I've got a guy that's uh, uh, very wealthy. He's trying to buy a uh, $3.5 million apartment complex mm-hmm. and, and, you know, somewhere between 11 units or so. And he's been beat out twice. Mm-hmm. And so his agent calls me and says, Scott, I think we need you. C- can you do something with this? Mm-hmm. So we made him an all-cash buyer. Because he's a cash buyer, he was able to make a little bit lower of an offer and yep. work in that cost, right? Exactly. And and we won the deal. And then he was able to get a normal loan and have his original lender refinance him out of that. Mm-hmm. So he, he dated me really Real quick, and then he's going to get the long-term takeout financing with his lender. But Got I it. was the solution to be an all-cash buyer, win the day, and get so home. going. Uh, that's kind of a high-level, mm-hmm. very expert uh, scenario. But to continue on that, so are there? Uh, I mean, Dan, maybe you can help me out with this. Yeah. Are there seasoning requirements? So what that means is basically, does the money have to be seasoned? for a certain amount of time. I mean, how's that? Beautiful thing question. Work? I love that you guys know this so well. Uh, <laughs> we did not plan that ahead of time. Though. No, it's just a great question. question. You guys understand what they yeah. ask. Because, yeah. yeah, that's we've got title seasoning, right? So yeah. if I get... if. Uh, oh, a lot of uh, investors actually they go pay cash for something exactly and now you have title seasoning yep. right because you want to cash out refinance mm-hmm. that's totally different than mm-hmm. a rate and term mm-hmm. refinance so a rate and term means that you have a, a mortgage with a deed and a, a note with, with me as a lender yep. and you can treat that with most lenders next day right so mm-hmm. I could buy the house today mm-hmm. and I could use a new appraised value tomorrow hmm. no title seasoning whatsoever as a rate and term however if you spend all your cash and you liquidate all your money Mm -hmm. you're going to be cash poor for a while so you really have to figure that into your purchase exactly interesting yeah interesting big big uh big tips i got a follow-up question a minute ago i didn't want to interrupt you guys because i knew where you were going with the seasoning which was Mm -hmm. a question that we wanted to get to anyways Mm -hmm. because that's big um commercial you mentioned commercial this guy bought an apartment complex with hard money Mm -hmm. Wow. So I so it's not limited to just residential real estate. No. And, and the loan no, amount too. Yeah, there's no that was my the loan amount. That was yeah. my other follow up question was three point five million. So there it sounds to me like I mean, I'm sure there's a limit at some point, but I mean, I don't know. He hasn't seen uh, yeah. it yet. I'm, I don't I know anybody about that. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody yeah. listening uh, helps me find yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> hey, God, if you're listening, let's help Scott find his cap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How much hard money can you possibly get on one deal? Beautiful. Five mil? Uh, 12 mil, yeah, 30 see. mil. Let's help them find it. Mm-hmm. You know, so so residential, no cap. 
Yeah. I mean, we're talking somebody could go purchase a home at the auction for a million dollars. As long as they have the minimum down payment requirements, the credit yeah. application looks good. Uh, I've got guys at all three of the auctions in King Pierce and Snohomish. And mm-hmm. so basically we're going to figure out, you know, about two weeks before the auction is when you want to really start mm-hmm. looking. I mean, some people yeah. are looking months before and most of them never go. You know? Yeah, exactly. They so if you start watching a couple weeks and, and we start watching that, then, then we're going to be able to be at the auction with you. If you want to be there or just let us do it for you, then we'll acquire the property. You'll come and you'll bring whatever down payment we agreed to and and now you own the property well wow it's a huge deal so anybody looking to get into an an investment property or looking to do flips i mean this is probably a good way to go i'd say i do more at the flip uh, fix and flip you know i've got a lot of friends that do the auction i I like working with agents and lenders and a lot Mm -hmm. of those guys have more of the fix and flips Mm -hmm. and i've got a product that, that is all in one exclusive where you can you know purchase the property in cash, and then mm-hmm. also uh, have a set amount of a budget allocated for your remodel costs all in one. Because before you were talking wow. about a two hundred three, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. FHA loan, you mm-hmm. got to go owner occupied, mm-hmm. and that is a very cumbersome mm-hmm. loan. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just not easy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not. And you got to find a you got to find a contractor that's yeah. willing to play the game too, which is that's yeah. almost as hard as getting the loan. Getting the loan is one thing. Getting yeah. them through the actual approved exactly. process yeah. is is really difficult. And so by the time you've played cat and mouse with that, most people are really tired. Whereas with me, my clients, they're the ones that are winning the deal with all cash they okay. got in they flipped it and now they got it back on the market within 45 to 60 days yeah, that's huge yeah. that's huge and they only came with 20 percent yeah of that whole number so if they bought a house for 200 do you have, is that an example you got right there this has a different this is one we just did in buckley i got one uh, we picked it up for 136,000. Mm-hmm. needed twenty five thousand dollars worth of uh, remodel work uh, we we thought it was actually going to go for about 235 it went for 270. Wow. wow. So the investor, you know, really only put about thirty two, thirty three thousand dollars down mm-hmm. and used the rest of our money to, to fund it and, 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 and finish it, it and then yeah. flip it and then our loan gets paid off and they walk with the net and Wow. Yeah, great. That's a deal. Yeah, I no, like deals. I like deals. I like, <laughs> I like making money, and I that's like easy. Money. I don't want to say it's easy. You make it sound easy. But um All right, I got uh, one question. Yeah. So in this market it's super mm-hmm. tough to get a house sometimes and we were talking uh, earlier about how financing's tough to get and sometimes i mean dan's great because he can close deals in 15 20 days uh, getting a normal loan but there's so many people that are getting all cash mm-hmm. and they're beating everybody out do you have an option where someone can use all cash using your hard money to buy the house and then quickly before they move in refi it mm-hmm. as their own owner occupied home absolutely Wow. So we would strategically, in this case, we would partner. Scott would get him the hard money. We mm-hmm. would close on the loan. We'd already have the full application. Mm-hmm. It'd actually already be an underwriting at our bank. We turn it around, conventional or a jumbo loan. Yeah. And obviously, we got to look at the seasoning requirements, but we turn it around yep. and, and provide conventional financing. Do you have any clue what those seasoning requirements are? Jumbo with the different investors. Yeah, it's gonna, it's all yeah gonna be your market is a lot of jumbo. But yeah. we could, I mean, if we keep it down under 517, it's just. Still a rate and term refi. Rate term refi. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. It is. So here's the thing. We've got to wrap up this segment. Um, what I've done is I am going to read. So no disrespect to Scott, but I want to get his point across. I want to read this. So if any of these questions make sense to you, Scott has a solution. Has your bank or lending professional turned you down in the past? Have you felt that your lender doesn't understand the project that you're interested in? Is your lender slowing down the process and your success in getting in your way? Uh, never, you never want to wait 30, 60, 90 days to close for a loan. So period. No, no, ever. Ever. And so if I can't help you, if a bank can't help you, and it's going to take more than 30 to 45 days, um, this is this is obviously an option. Do you wish there were more make sense lenders? They didn't care much, care as much about credit and bank statements and collateral. Well, Scott has a solution. This guy, um, just in the last you know hour we've spent with him, I've learned a ton. So um, we're going to put Scott's information up on our website. Um, we're going to be back here after the break. We're going to talk more about Scott. And um, wow. Yeah, that was some good stuff. Wow. Why don't you throw out your, your phone number real quick? 425-891-8260. Awesome. Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller. We'll be right back. We're back with Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller. All right. Hey, welcome back to Seattle Real Estate Radio. This is Dan Keller, and um, I'm going to go flip some homes. I know. Jeez, I'm all fired up. I'm fired up. (laughs) 10% down. Yeah. Fix and flip. To fix and flip. 
That's insane. At less than a 12% interest rate. So, I mean, the biggest myth that I've ever, I mean, I've always believed with hard money, it was A, it was expensive, and um, they charged a bunch of points, which are Mm -hmm. fees up front, Mm -hmm. and the rates were ridiculously high. Yeah, that's what I've always heard. That's unreal. That was a great, Scott was a great guest. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, very, very, very good. Yeah, I learned a ton. Yeah. Um, do you have more of his contact? Info? I do. I do. We got cut short. Shannon, uh, our producer, cut us off. <laughs> it's always the producer's fault. It's always their fault. We, we weren't talking too no, long. It was no, her fault for minutes. sitting there in the corner yelling the, at us. The clock didn't say four seconds left. <laughs> but it wasn't our fault at all. <laughs> It's all good. Yeah, so Scott's information, and, and you can always go to Seattle Real Estate Radio. Yeah, we'll have all his contact info on there, too, next always to his there. video. But in case you're not yeah. there and hey. you're listening live and you don't want to go to the website. If you're in the car, if you're in your cubicle at work, mm-hmm. or you're at home, or and a quarter potty, listening be, on iHeartRadio on your phone, I don't know why you'd be doing that, but hey, maybe you are. Maybe construction you are. workers. Maybe right? you're a flipper. Maybe you're a flipper, but wherever you're at right now, if you do have a hard money question, he may answer his phone. Here's his number, okay? 425-891-8260. Scott Estes with the Estes team. He's a private money lender. And, uh, you know, I, I love it. I feel really good. It's a great way to wrap up my Monday when we have... These guests that just, just blow my pump yeah. me up. I know it's a great way to start the week. <laughs> great way. So, uh, you've asked before. I love Mondays, and you're like, what? I love Mondays because of our show. I know we get great people. I'm loving Mondays now too. Yeah, it's all because of you. Look what the miracle morning and Dan Keller have done. <sighs> <to> you. <sighs> my life is so much better thanks to you, Dan. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so speaking of Dan. Mm-hmm. What what you, I know you want to talk to me about a little bit more about the mortgage market and what's going on, but yeah. more importantly, yeah. kind of this is something that we've really been getting a, a question about mm-hmm. this a lot lately, and it's it's like yeah, I'll let you go from there. Yeah, I don't want to spend every single week talking about rates. I can get mundane. You can go to the internet yeah. and find you know find out more information on rates, which I don't necessarily recommend you do all the time. Just call me or email me. But yeah, because the rates you're going to see online aren't yeah. actually what you're going to be able. To they're get. advertisements. Yeah, yeah. They're, but it's they're yeah, but somewhat as far of a bait and switch yeah, type of thing. I don't sometimes, wanna, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Are they? Uh, a lot of them are. They're yeah, ads. Most of them are ads. A lender's going to throw out their best. You know, mm-hmm. here here's the best possible rate if you pay a bunch of. $18,000 yeah. to get this. You can get this yeah. 3.5, 3.75 yes. rate. Whatever. Or or it's an arm and you're yeah. looking for a fix. So there's yeah. some miss, miss uh, anyways, people are misleading. But anyways, I don't want to really talk much about rates today. What I want to okay. talk about is um, the cost of waiting. So Yep. And this is definitely something that we are getting asked mm-hmm. a, lot a lot about. Yeah. Do I buy now? Do I wait until the spring? I heard the winter months are not a good time to buy. Uh, I'm thinking about waiting until next year, signing another year I need lease. to sign, or I need to save up more money yeah. for a bigger down payment. Mm-hmm. That's a question yeah. that I always get asked. Yeah. And I'm like, well, look, Dan's got a great answer yeah. for you. Yeah. You do not need 20% down. So a big exactly. down payment is not necessary. Here's what I want to focus on. I put yep. together this report. And I put it together at five hundred thousand, a five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollar purchase price, which is about the average uh, sales price in the Seattle area mm-hmm. right now. Yeah, yeah, pretty average, mm-hmm. um, with approximately twenty percent down. Okay, mm-hmm. if you were to purchase now versus waiting until next November. Okay, so you okay. wait twelve months. You wait a year. You sign another le- one year lease. Mm-hmm. What you're going to look at is. Um, Pretty substantial. You know, we looked at... Preach. Tell me. Yeah, man. Educate me. So what, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you what that looks like over five years, and I wanted to show you what that looks like over basically 15. Hmm. And I know we touched on it briefly, you know, a couple of weeks ago uh, when we talked about this, and then, you know, our producer cut us short. Again. Again. Dang producer. I don't know what her deal is. We weren't talking too long or anything about something not that we weren't no. supposed to be talking about. No, no, it but, was the producer. But anyway. basically, here, here's the at the end of the day, it's a difference of approximately six hundred thirty-eight dollars a month in payment. So I'm explain waiting. that. Yeah, just so by it. so so I'm gonna write this down mm-hmm. so I understand. Yeah. So I'm writing down November 2015 mm-hmm. versus waiting until November 2016. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. $500,000 purchase price. Mm-hmm. If I wait a year, it's going to cost me an additional yeah, so 
thirty a what? bucks a m- dollars a month. Yeah, six hundred thirty. So, yeah. Okay. So here's the thing, and here's how, how we come. Here's how we came up with this, Christian. So, what I did is I I reached out to you and I said, hey, in the we're not focusing on a niche in in mm-hmm. Seattle, but uh, Seattle as a whole, what is what is the appreciation rate? Over the next um, 12, 12 months, what's it expected to be? Well, in our prediction show coming up here in a couple weeks, mm-hmm. or maybe it's next week that we're doing the year-end review, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will be um, I will be saying, you know, this December mm-hmm. versus next December. Mm-hmm. I think I was saying November. Yeah. I meant December 2016, 2015. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to be somewhere between somewhere around nine percent, okay. seven to nine percent, yeah. somewhere in there. Okay, so I use seven. Okay. So if you if we have a seven percent appreciation, so we're going a little conservative we're with going the seven. Conservative, yep. and in certain areas could be thirteen, fourteen. You yep. never know. Yep. Um, so that same five hundred thousand dollar house that you want to buy right now or last month in November mm-hmm. of twenty fifteen for five hundred grand is now going to cost you approximately five hundred forty thousand. Ah, I see what you're doing okay. here, Dan. But here's the kicker: you're increasing no, the price by seven. It's not even that. It's not even that. It's what happens when the rates go up. Yep, because that makes a big makes a difference. Huge difference. So what I did is I took November twenty fifteen's interest rates of approximately four mm-hmm. percent with projected, and this is from Freddie Mac, this isn't my opinion, this is mm-hmm. from Freddie Mac, okay, mm-hmm. I mean, the Mortgage Bankers Association, uh, estimated 30-year fixed rates at 5%. Wow. Yep, December, or excuse me, November of 2016. So we take a five, approximately a $540,000 purchase price, now you're still putting down 20%, that hasn't mm-hmm. changed, mm-hmm. but rates going up and home values going up, it's going to cost you approximately $650 a month. Wow. So... This is where it can get crazy, and we're going to have a guest coming on shortly, probably after the new year that's a financial mm-hmm. planner, and mm-hmm. this will blow your mind, Christian, what $630, $640 a month mm-hmm. can do to you hmm. parked in the right financial plan. I like that. Yeah. How to make money, basically, on that extra 640 yeah. bucks that you could have been. Mm-hmm. So, so, it, yeah. so it, do you have another scenario, like a 10% down by not waiting or anything like mm-hmm. that, or how would that work well, out? I mean, 10% down, all you're going to do is the, the, the house is still going to go up in value. With 10% mm-hmm. down, your monthly mortgage payment is going to be a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, 10% but it's down. probably not $638 yeah, well, more. Probably not, but probably to the tune. I could rerun the report, but for 400 450 475 there's So you're still, still saving mm-hmm. a couple hundred bucks, mm-hmm. and you get the appreciation. Yeah. yeah. You hmm. still the big thing is you get the appreciation and you lock in a rate um, that's probably well not probably won't be there in yeah, a year exactly okay. and if you're getting a thirty year fix mm-hmm. that can save you a ton, a ton of money over the life of the loan yeah. so the report that I'm looking at right now that I put together shows it over five years it shows the savings over fifteen years and uh, it, it's it's pretty phenomenal the savings if, if someone wanted that yeah could they email you or info. something yeah info at SeattleRealEstateRadio.com. Yeah, it's a okay. f- and or we can customize it. I mean, you may be in Bellevue, and the price point may be seven fifty, and we could run those scenarios. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, but the the savings over five years and fifteen years will blow your mind. Wow, yeah, that's my mortgage minute. That or two like or three, <laughs> ten. But hey, you know what? That's all right because that was good info. Yeah, that's good stuff. All right, so before we go, because it is getting close to mm. Christmas. Mm. I mean, it's what December seventh, first week of December now. Yeah. Um, Elf on the shelf, man. Oh, man. The guy freaking showed up at my house. The guy or the yeah. girl? We or got, both. We have we Dog only have a guy. We got a, we got a couple. You got a whole couple? Dude. We have a, do we they have get a, into mischief like they do at uh, our house? Yeah. What kind yeah. of stuff do they get into? Well, we live on a farm. Mm. Kind of. We live on yeah. Anchorage. We've got a, it's not a farm. It's not a we farm. we got goats. It sounds fancy, but no, we have a little pond. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they ice fish. They what? skate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they get into all kinds of mayhem. <laughs> Have you ever seen those Allstate commercials? Yeah, the those are our, guy. Yeah, those are our elves on the shelves. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, how about yours? Are they behaving um, themselves so they, far? They mm-hmm. are. No, they usually get into stuff. So mm-hmm. you'll like see their their heads in a like box of candy or something like mm-hmm. that, or donuts. Um, they try to hide sometimes. So they'll hide like on the tree and stuff. Love it's, it. it's funny. I love so, it. So yeah. Well, that, hey, they're, they're kind of crazy. We'll keep all of our listeners posted on our elves on, on the shelves. Elves, but exactly. Hey, you know what? Tune in next Monday at 3 p.m. And uh, for more updates on the Seattle real estate and mortgage markets. And until then, have a great week. Yeah. Everybody have a great week. Yeah. Week. 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 <laughs> everybody have a great week. Bye, guys. Thank you for listening. Yeah. To contact the show. 
Or for more information, visit SeattleRealEstateRadio.com. That's SeattleRealEstateRadio.com. And be sure to tune in again next Monday at 3 for more Seattle Real Estate Radio with your hosts, Christian Nossum and Dan Keller, mortgage expert with New American Funding, right here on Business Radio 1300 KKOL.